Hello, folks. <laughs> that was not my intention. Isn't that a gorgeous sky? <laughs> I just took a little video clip of it for uh, separately. But isn't that gorgeous? Oh my gosh. Yeah. I was actually attempting to pin my comment. I always forget how to do it. <laughs> That's all right. Yeah, sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. Okay. Oops. Yeah, it doesn't take much for the uh, screen to switch. No, it. There we go. Well, anyway, <laughs> a fabulous Friday to you all. <sighs> we are supposed to get some stormy weather today. And as you can see, you have to see the cloud cut here. Mmm, look at all that. Cloud, 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 cloud. Especially over here, it looks really interesting right there. And then, and then it turns pinkish red. Although I have to say that um, the, uh, the vibrancy of the color has faded somewhat from the original uh, video clip that I took a little bit ago. So. <laughs> Here I am. But yeah, we've got a lot of cloud cover. We're expecting some stormy weather this afternoon here in North Texas. So, but I am down here by the bulrushes like I usually am. And they have not lifted off yet. Yesterday I completely missed it because they left, they uh, lifted off a little bit earlier than what they had been doing. So I didn't get it at all. But. Today I'm live, so I thought I would... It just makes it easier for me to uh, switch, switch the, the camera around so you can see what's going on around me, which makes it really fun. So I don't know how long it'll be before they lift off. I just got out here a few minutes ago, and it's not quite 7.30 Central Time yet, so I guess we'll see how that goes. <laughs> I may start walking down toward my favorite tree and then when they lift off, if I, if I see them from down there, then I'll take some, uh, some shot for you so you can see it, which is gorgeous. Good morning. <laughs> so how are you guys doing? How has your week been? Have you experienced some awesome joy this week? I hope so. For those of you who are in the path of a hurricane or have been in the path of a hurricane or have had to evacuate because of a hurricane, I send you joy vibes. Yes, just want to put that word out there because I know that that's a really tough situation to deal with. It certainly is and I wish you um, uh, comfort and uh, great recovery from this entire stormy time that it, some folks are dealing with right now. Okay, they haven't lifted off yet. Good morning. <sighs> nope, they haven't. But as soon as I see them coming down the pike, I will certainly flip the camera for you so you can see what's going on. Oh, hi, George. <laughs> How are you? Fabulous Friday to you. <sighs> I'm just waiting for the uh, birds to lift off from the uh, bulrushes down there. They sometimes take a while before they lift off. So I figured when they do, I will flip the camera as I'm heading down to my favorite tree. <laughs> Instead of standing there waiting for them to lift off, I figured I'll just take my walk. So yeah, fabulous Friday. So the question of course that I always ask is, how are you going to make your Friday fabulous? Are you going to choose to do something that brings you joy? 
lifts your spirit and leaves you feeling fabulous. <laughs> exactly. So I did want to mention, I'm now facing the bulrushes because I'm a little further down, just to make sure in case they decide to lift off, um, I can capture them. Boy, I tell you, I have to show you the, the clever again. Isn't that really interesting? Just, I don't think, I don't know if I have ever seen clouds that look quite, quite like this before. I find it to be really interesting. Let me pull this in a little bit so you can see a little more detail. Isn't that wild? Really crazy. <laughs> I have never seen cloud cover quite like that before. And then in the distance, right in here, that's all rain coming down. Yeah. So it's definitely headed our way. I just thought I would show that up because I think that is really interesting. Yes, I do. So um, I don't hear... I don't hear as much as I usually do down by the bulrushes, but I'm a little further down, so, but I haven't seen any lift off yet, so, so I guess I'll keep going down to my favorite tree. <laughs> I'll just have to keep an eye out, make sure we don't miss it, because that's one of my favorite parts is, uh, <laughs> is getting that bird flight. Oh, I absolutely love that bird flight. I find it so inspiring. I know, I repeat myself a lot, don't I? Uh, practically every video I think that I have recorded for a while now, I have been talking about the bird flight. <laughs> but it just never gets old. It's just gorgeous, inspiring, delightful. I never get enough. <laughs> and considering that I see I get views on my bird flight all the time, I guess you guys aren't getting enough of it, uh, enough of it either, huh? <laughs> there you go. So I am just about down by my favorite tree. Actually, I'm not quite there yet. But I do hear some birds down here too. Not sure if that's a mockingbird I hear. Hmm. Anytime I hear a mockingbird in the distance, I try to locate where it is, and then I try to take some video. Because I always find that to be highly inspiring. Okay. So, just thought I would update you. I spent some time in my studio again yesterday. Yes, I did. Yay me. <laughs> oh, you can still cheer me on. Um, I went over the entire number four design from top to bottom and uh, filled in some things. And uh, today I plan to scan it on my scanner and blow it up really big so I can see if any, anything else needs to be done on it. And if not, I will can declare it done. And I'm very happy with the way it turned out. So, And I'm looking forward to the day when I revealed all of my designs. I plan to do seven, and this is number four. And we are down just about on to my favorite tree here on the green belt. And here we are. And I don't think the birds have lifted off yet. No. Still waiting for the uh, main event. <laughs> of course, I can't hear them from down here. It's way too far down. I do hear an airplane in the background, though, do you? <laughs> so here's my favorite tree. Good morning, tree. How are you? Standing strong as usual. Yep, that's one of the things I love about trees is that they remind me of strength and being rooted and grounded and centered and strong. Yes, I really like the energy of a tree. So, how are you today? How, how has your week been? Please leave a comment below and let me know where you have found joy this week. So last night, as I said, I, I worked on my number four design. I absolutely enjoy, so much enjoy, um, working with my, my Windsor Newton watercolor markers and pit pens. I have such a good time with that. I really do. Very fine detail that goes into it. But I have such a good time with it. So I really look forward to getting in there, just getting into my zone and just uh, playing with color and texture and design elements. I just have a great time doing that. So, yay. So, you have to find something that works for you. 
And I would love to know what it is. Whether you're cooking, baking, gardening, hiking, surfing, <laughs> swimming, <laughs> painting, drawing, sculpting, singing, dancing. I mean, there's all kinds of things that we can try. Or listening to music is also a wonderful way to lift your spirit. Yes. So there's all kinds of things we can do, right? And we all can find something that works for us. And my goal and aim is to encourage you to find joy every single day. Because when we do that on a regular basis, every day, it makes the world a better place. Because you're happier and it creates a high vibration that just is just delightful in the world that we desperately need right now. Yes, we do. We need a lot more joy in the world. And my goal and aim is to encourage you to find it and for me to find it <laughs> and to just really enjoy what life has to offer. We are co-creators of our lives, aren't we? Yes, we are. And we can take the time to invest in ourselves. No guilt needed, no delay, no I don't have time. Five minutes. Just start with five minutes and go read something that inspires you or listen to a song or um, get on your feet and just do a happy dance. <laughs> Think about the things that make you happy. Relish uh, the food that you eat that you absolutely enjoy every time. Yes. There are so many ways that we can activate and find joy and be intentional about having joy every single day rather than just waiting for it to come along. You know, we can actually say, you know what, I'm going to do such and such today because I know how much I love doing it. Yes, we all need to spend time doing things like that. <clears throat> yes, we do. I love playing my tambourine and singing the songs that I write. I have so much fun doing that. And I can actually feel the difference in my body after I do it too. So you'll need to find something that makes you feel like that. Yes. Something that just taps into your creative flow and um, just does something for you that nothing else does. Find that, find that something special, whatever it is. Yes. So you have yourself a super fabulous Friday. And I have not seen <laughs> the bird lift off yet. I was hoping to capture that before I, uh, before I end this live video. So I'm heading back now to the area and I, I don't think I've seen it yet. So I'm gonna head back there and see if maybe we'll capture it right here and right now. You just never know because uh, I've been out here a little while don't know how long I've been here. <laughs> it's kind of hard to keep track of that when you're on live because there's no clock. So I'm going to head down back to the waterway and the bulrushes and I can still, I can hear them again. So they have not lifted off yet. So maybe they will right now. That would be a wonderful surprise, wouldn't it? I think so. Can you hear them? <laughs> I can just, I, I'm just starting to hear them again. Yep. Come on down here. Yep. On my way. Here, I'll give you a view. This is where I'm walking. And you can, <laughs> they're still having their breakfast uh, conversation down here. Yep. They sure are haven't quite lifted off yet so maybe I'll maybe I'll wait a minute or two and see if they do come on down here huh? that would be absolutely delightful wouldn't it I think so I don't know what time it is because I don't have a watch on my wrist but I'm guessing then in the next few minutes, they'll probably do something. You can hear them. <laughs> See, they're all, I think most of them are probably along here. 
they sound like they're a little bit further away this morning rather than rather than right here which is closer to where I am so let's see what they do oh it looks like the sky has can you see the difference oh look at this <gasps> did you see that I don't know if that was a bull rush lift off or not can you see them there you go they're a little bit harder to see against the uh, against the cloud cover I don't know if those are no I think those are birds that are coming off the trees behind there but that's really cool look at that yay <sighs> This is what I wait for. Yeah, it looks like they are st starting to come off, but instead of them all heading in the same direction, they seem to be going off in different places, which is kind of interesting because they don't usually do that. Okay, here's a couple more. <sighs> you can't really see them very well against the, um, the dark cloud cover though. Oh, here we go. Here's some more. Can you see that? There you go. <laughs> there we go oh here's another oh wow look at that that's really cool yep <laughs> and we're live yay oh yes this is what I was waiting for look at that isn't that amazing oh wow <laughs> and now oh wow look at this they look like they're just doing this wonderful dance, don't they? Yeah, they really do. Wow. I hope you're enjoying this as much as I am. Look at all that. And here they go. Gorgeous bird flight. <laughs> what beauty. What beauty. <sighs> Yay, and more. There we go. It's amazing how many of them there are that hang out down there. And there they go, off into the wild blue yonder. <laughs> oh my goodness, well I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. Well, I guess that's the perfect ending to my live Fabulous Friday time with you. And may joy find you in the most unexpected places.